So uh, we are going to have uh, one final short talk before we get into the vendor showcases. Um, and for this, uh, Kingdon Barrett on our team will be joining us. And I think Kingdon has the slides. Kingdon, you wanna share your slides? No problem. Here we are. So this talk, if you've seen the schedule, is on uh, enterprises you know, loving Flux, uh, why they love Flux, and um, what they love about it. So um, again, I've mentioned my name is Tamo Nakahara. I run the developer experience tier team here at Weaveworks. Um, and I'm very excited to have, we can see your screen. <laughs> Kingdom. Sorry about that. We lost well, the slide. Wasn't quite filling the screen up. And Liz, you're on the screen, by the way. There we go, that's better. Um, so my name is Tom Onokahara. I run the developer experience team here and I'm really glad to have Kingdon Barrett here on our team. Kingdon, how are you doing? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Great to be here. Thanks for that nice introduction, Tamo. I'm Kingdon Barrett. I'm also on the developer experience team at Weaveworks. I'm an open source support engineer and I'm also a Flux maintainer. Excellent. So. Uh, if some of you have just joined or you've been joining earlier, wanted to share like today's event uh, uh, is for many of you who might just be searching GitOps online and saying, well, how can I get started? So it's really important for us to share all these amazing vendors, uh, Amazon, D2IQ, uh, Microsoft, Red Hat, VMware, Weaveworks, right? Um, these are all GitOps solutions that um, you might consider. And maybe you're already using Azure, maybe you're already on AWS and you don't know that like, oh, these are options that I have for me already. So hopefully this will be a helpful event for you. So for those of you, like as we mentioned, there we hope there's a, a, a current future and a future where you just click a button that says GitOps and you trust your vendors to do that. Uh, and in many of these cases, we're on our way to do that. Uh, but we just wanted to share with you of all the speakers today, uh, just a little bit of what's under the hood. Uh, in our case, it's a great celebration that all of these vendors uh, speaking today are using the CNCF Flux project um, and hopefully you won't care. You'll say, I just trust that they're using the best technology and I have a great experience. But we thought it'd be helpful to um, reflect a little bit on the many companies who have been practitioners of Flux already um, and of GitOps already and why they've um, you know, trusted Flux and, and uh, been enjoying GitOps with it. So for a little bit, let's just set the stage. Let's not assume everybody knows what GitOps is. It's important to always make some definitions. So Kingdon, share with us a little bit. What's GitOps? Sure. GitOps is a way of managing your infrastructure and your applications so that the whole system is described declaratively. Uh, version control, and uh, most likely that's in a Git repository. And also uh, with automated processes that assume that uh, that assure that the deployed environment is actually matching the state that's specified in the repository. Um, if that sounds like a mouthful, uh, GitOps, uh, maybe a little bit simpler explained, is operations by pull request. So this is an operating model for continuous delivery of cloud native systems, um, leveraging version immutability and uh, declarative configuration. Uh, so um, go a little bit beyond that. Uh, there's a formal definition for GitOps. Uh, it's by the CNCF working group that's uh, been established uh, for some time. And as of KubeCon, they've formally released version 1.0, which is a signal of uh, open GitOps, the standard being ready for mainstream uh, consumption. And this is a vendor neutral definition. So there's a number of companies that have been involved, uh, Weaveworks being one of them. Excellent. So um, these are just some of the few logos of companies that have been using Flux in production. If you go to fluxcd.io, that is the website for it. And so uh, hopefully you're in good company of these companies who have spoken and shared uh, their various use cases. And uh, we'll be having more and more use cases out there that hopefully um, align with the, the needs that you have today. So want to just cover some of the top reasons um, that enterprises um, love GitOps um, and they've been enjoying Flux and why the many vendors here um, have wanted to provide GitOps for their customers using Flux. Um, some of the top things, right? 
of course, security and compliance, very, very important. Um, the GitOps methodology and the way that Flux is designed um, it makes that possible in a very, very powerful way. Um, if you've seen some of our past GitOps Days events, we've talked about the DORA metrics and how, you know, um, development velocity is incredibly important and strongly aligned to companies that have shown great success in terms of revenue and uh, going IPO and you know getting investment. Um, so GitOps, um, especially using Flux, is a very very important tool to increase that velocity. Um, and capex and opex savings, we've had many users share when they're trying to argue for the business needs, um, whether it's using your uh, team members to the best of their abilities toward innovation versus repetition, or making the best of your infrastructure um, investments, uh, GitOps helps with that very, very much. And so again, right, automation um, is a key part of being able to focus on innovation. So we're going to talk for a second about um, how Flux uh, delivers enterprise-grade reliability. Um, Flux has a stable API, which we announced in June. And this is important for uh, both systems builders, cloud vendors, but also end users, uh, because it means we're not going to pull the rug out from under you. The interface will not have breaking changes after this point. Uh, Flux is also uh, considered very reliable because it is well tested. Uh, there are end-to-end -end tests that cover all of the features. So besides the interface, you can actually be assured that uh, the Flux behavior will remain consistent. And uh, Flux itself is designed with an extension of Kubernetes approach that uses custom resource definitions. So this means that the reliability of Kubernetes is actually inherited by Flux. Uh, the reliability of Flux is also validated through the CNCF. We heard Ihor mention earlier that uh, Flux is in incubating status as of March 2021, and we're marching rapidly towards a graduation. So excellent. Wanted to um, cover some of the ways that Flux delivers these great enterprise grade GitOps capabilities. So again, if you go to the Flux CDIO site, if you are interested in learning about Flux, at the top, we have sort of the eight key points um, that are important to know. I just want to highlight a few of them. So like the very first uh, uh, point that we have here, um, some people think that GitOps is only for apps or only for infrastructure. Um, and it's really important to know that <clears throat> we have so many great users who are using Flux for both their um, app-based GitOps as well as infrastructure. It's just really flexible and uh, brings the benefits to all the different types of teams um, that, need, that need to use it, whether they're directly um, implementing it or consuming it. Um, I'll jump to the third point here too. Uh, I know it's a very valid concern. It's like, well, <laughs> we just spent years investing in Jenkins. It's all set up or, you know, we already have GitLab. It's really important to know that Flux works with your existing tools. It's been very strongly defined, uh, uh, sorry, designed to be able to work that way. Uh, Kingdon, in fact, has written great documentation on using Flux with Jenkins because we know a lot of users care about that. Um, and then on our next slide, a few more points I wanted to cover. Again, the top point, really important to know that Flux is multi-everything. It is multi-tenant, multi-environment, multi-cluster. Um, so it's really been designed uh, by the people that you've met, like Michael, uh, Kingdon's contributed. Um, I think Ihor listed out the many maintainers such as Stefan, Hide, um, and others in the community. Um, and many more that we've hired, in fact, uh, shout out to the, the roles if you're interested. So we've really, really built uh, a robust system that is, you know, uh, capable for doing things that you need today and really thinking to your needs in the future. Uh, and finally, I'll jump down to the third point. Uh, again, it was really important for us to not have us um, an open source project that kind of was out there offering a few things. We really wanted to put it out there in the CNCF as an offering um, and as Ihor mentioned as well. The, um, uh, there's a GitOps working group in the CNCF. So this is very much about a broad practice and Kingdon will talk a little bit about that in a minute. So earlier I mentioned the open GitOps principles and Flux, I wanted to highlight that Flux delivers on all of these principles. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at them really quickly. So these should all sound familiar. Uh, if you were paying attention earlier and I described GitOps, these are uh, the actual principles from opengitops.dev. And uh, we talked about uh, version store, 
automatic reconciling, all of these are features of Flux. So if you're using Flux or a product that's based on Flux, this is what you'll get out of the box. Uh, also, uh, before we go to that, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, Flux has recently added uh, support for server-side apply, which is a new feature that was uh, made generally available in Kubernetes 1.22. So that was just in August, uh, just to highlight the fast pace of Flux development, always adding new features. So I wanted to spend just the remaining couple of minutes on um, you know, these early adopters perhaps, um, who've been really enjoying GitOps on an enterprise level to hopefully uh, help you hear from them directly what benefits they're having by using Flux. So our most recent, there was a, a blog post in the CNCF blog, if you want to find it, by the US Department of Defense. Um, if you may know that they built a DevSecOps platform uh, so that all of the uh, various departments, I believe, if I get it correctly, like the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, um, their software developers could have a secure place to develop whatever um, apps that they needed. And it was really amazing like how much um, they were using open source. Um, I think it was like 99% of the, the projects used the tools there um, was from the CNCF or other open source areas. And so it was really exciting that for them, it was a clear choice to use Flux. Um, their particular use case, they really are tied to Helm. And so they wanted to take advantage of the Helm ecosystem. And since Flux is designed well to work with Helm, that was a, a clear choice. And I loved how one of the contractors said how the Flux API is crazy stable. So as Kingdon was mentioning earlier, you know, the reliability is really important. And it was great to hear from an actual user about how that stability is actually played out. I'll go through quickly a few others. If you've come to our previous um, uh, GitOps days, you've heard speakers like um, Vuk Goinich of Deutsche Telekom saying how by using Flux, they were able to create a self-healing platform um, in which they could focus on um, really using their um, uh, employees to the best ability. Um, and so you want to focus your humans on innovation versus on repetition, right? And even pragmatically, the, the story shared how they had fewer tickets. So that's a very tangible metric. Similarly, Under Armour, um, we had a speaker from there uh, who used to be there and shared similarly how you don't wanna have people doing the repetitive tasks, you want them focused on innovation. And especially when you need to scale, you don't wanna just throw bodies at the work, you wanna be more strategic. So being able to have GitOps practices using Flux meant that it, it helped with re retention, right? You can retain employees because they had the satisfaction of knowing that they're adding value, they're spending time on learning and innovating for you as well. And a few more, we have great case studies from Tidepool, an organization that, again, security and compliance is really important. And since we're using Git, um, you have an audit trail and it lowers your risks as well because you know that uh, you can see what went wrong and it makes troubleshooting more streamlined. And finally, to close, we have a great quote from um, Global Freight Solutions where um, there really was a low cost of entry. So for many of you, if you are just getting started with GitOps today and wanting to see what the value is, you know, here's some users sh sharing how they had quick and great value right away. And so they didn't really feel like it's for early adopters or startups or unicorns. Um, it really is ready for the enterprise today. So I hope that you enjoy the rest of the event of these great vendors. And thank you to Kingdon for joining me in this talk. And Thanks. looking forward to the rest of the event where you can see all these great vendors who are using Flux to deliver GitOps to you.